everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and through this video we are going to build our own question answer system in just 5 lines of code. To build our own question answer system, we are going to utilize an open source python library known as LNNLP. Actually this library is built by the LN Institute for AI which is a research institute founded by the late Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. Through this LN NLP library, we can easily use their publicly available pre-trained model to solving our various natural language processing tasks like machine comprehension. And when I say we need to build a question answer system, basically we are referring to this machine comprehension task, which is that seems to be the most simpler one to start with, right? So, this LN NLP is basically built over a PyTorch Python library, which is made available, uh, which is made by the Facebook research team, and this is majorly used for a computer vision and the natural language processing task. So, the very first thing which we have to do to build our question answer system, we have to install the LN NLP. So, the command is very straightforward since it's a Python library. It's LN NLP and since I have already installed it, I'm just gonna do an upgrade. So as I mentioned, this is built over the PyTorch. So you have to make sure that you have already installed a PyTorch based on the operating system on which you are doing. So since I am doing in a Windows, I have already installed that PyTorch. That's the reason I'm not getting into any error. But if you get into any error and you didn't find the research solution on the Google, just please feel free to put that in a comment section. I will do my best to help you. LN NLP based on your operating system. Now, once you just install this, you will see there is a site package inside the Python library. You will have this LN NLP inside this. We have predictors folder inside this predictor py, and, and this predictor py is nothing but having a class. And this is what we're going to use to build our question answer system. The next thing which we have to understand before we start doing a coding is we are going to utilize a BIDEF model, which is nothing but a bi directional attention flow deep learning neural network, which seems to be the, one of the most successful model in terms of solving machine comprehension. And this BIDEF model can be understood like a closed domain accepted question answer model that can help us some factual questions, right? So we're gonna see by the coding now. So now let's get into the coding part. The very first thing as we always do for the Python program is predictor. So we have to just import that class from predictor, import predictor. Then what we have to do is inside this predictor we have one method called from underscore path and here what I have to do is I have to just give the location where my BIDEF model which is a pre-trained model made available by the Allen Institute which we can utilize and that is actually on a S3 bucket right so I have already copied the path and I will provide this path into the description also. This is the path where that particular pre-trained model is and we have to just use this command and this would give us the predictor object which we can utilize to predict or basically to just form our question answer system. Now the next thing which we have to do is we have to use this object and inside this object we have this predict method and this accept two keywords input one is the passage and another one is the question right so the passage can be anything right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to define one variable known as passage and i have already write a small passage a simple one right and you can copy and you can create your own passage and you can pass it over here right and if you want to build a ui that also you can do right so here what we have to do is as i mentioned the this particular predict method except two mass two inputs passage and the question can be whatever question you want to ask which you think that okay this passage has the information about so let's say this passage says India is the biggest and the oldest democratic country in the world it is located in the South Asia and Jainism is the oldest religion in India so my first question which I wanted to ask is which country has the oldest democracy in the world 
now we have four lines the last line which we have to do is we have to just print the result right so but we can get the result so we can just save the output of this particular command and we can just print this out and this is going to give us a json right and we're gonna see which specific tag of this json file we have to use ln mlp predictors dot predictor oh my god i just made a mistake here this should be single t let me just run it and i hope uh, this time if i'm not ah oh, there are predictor is not defined predictor where is that again i just made a mistake a lot of spelling mistake here just save it this time hopefully i have not made any spelling mistakes basically so let's see how it goes this time yeah so now we are getting this json right so if i just take this json we have very first tag is passage question attention right there are many more the best one is which i am interested in best spanish string right this one which has this india which is my actual answer basically right so to print the actual answer we have to just use this particular tag and we should be good right now what we have to do is now we can ask any question whatever the question we wanted to ask now you can see we have this answer and there are a lot of warnings and that warnings i can there is a way through which we can just remove all these warnings as well so let me just bring that piece of code which will suppress all these warnings and let me just change my question as well and this time i just wanted to ask which is the oldest religion in india right and that is and that is how you can now play with this and you can change the passage from any wikipedia content and based on that you can ask any question whatever the question you want to ask and see the accuracy of this particular model so those warnings has been suppressed and now we are getting this answer genesis so that is that's it from my side but top of it what you can do is you can build your ui and you can accept this passage and uh, the question from the ui and you can pass us through this particular small piece of code right so now if i just remove this warning suppress and you will see we have only five lines of code so that is how you can build your own question answer system in just five lines of code so that's it from my side if you have any feedback or comment please feel free to put that in a comment section and i would love to just you know incorporate your feedback and your suggestion and as always stay healthy and keep learning a new stuff and if these kind of videos are really helping you please feel free to just don't forget to subscribe if it is really helping and if you want to share with your friends who can just get the benefit of these uh, videos just please feel free to share with them as well so as always stay healthy and keep learning a new stuff